This is the video lecture on derivatives. Now, when you talk about a derivative, what you're really talking about is a financial instrument whose value is derived from the value of another asset. Derivatives can be difficult to account for because there's always a certain amount of uncertainty simply because the value of the derivative itself is based on the value of something else. Now the first example that we're going to talk about in terms of a derivative is something called a forward contract. And sometimes businesses will sign these contracts or even individuals. But basically a forward contract is an obligation to purchase something at a specific price by a specific time. And it could be anything. It could be anything from stock to oil to any kind of a resource, any kind of a product. And once that forward contract is signed, you are legally bound and obligated to pay up and actually settle the contract. So a good example, say we have a business that signs a forward contract to purchase 1,000 shares of stock at $50 per share in 10 days. The current market price is $55. So that means the current value of the derivative is 5,000. Now where does that come from? Well think about this. If I can buy 1,000 shares at $50, that's gonna cost me $50,000. But if the current market price is the stock is selling for $55, I could turn right around and sell it and make a profit of $5,000. So that forward contract is worth $5,000. But this is good for 10 days. At any time during that 10-day period, if the value of the stock on the market changes, it could potentially change the value of the contract. But either way, I cannot get out of it. So in 10 days, I have to buy the stock and I have to pay the $50,000. So as long as the price of the stock stays above 50, I'm okay, but if the price of that stock falls down below 50, I'm gonna be in trouble because I still have to pay $50 for it. So there's no way for me to get out of the contract. But a lot of times people sign these things and when they do, they're speculating and taking a chance on whether or not the price is gonna stay the same. Now, if I don't want to sign a forward contract, another potential derivative is called an option contract. Now, this is very similar to a futures contract. The difference is I have the ability to get out of it. If the underlying price changes, I can exercise my option to not carry it out. But either way, I'm going to have to pay a fee. So to see an example of this, pretty much the same example as before, except that it's an option contract rather than a futures contract. Again, it's the option to buy 1,000 shares of stock, $50 a share, 10 days, current market price is $55, but they're gonna charge me $500 for the option contract. Now, as long as the price of the stock stays above 50, I'm going to go ahead and exercise that contract and buy the stock. But the nice thing about this is, if that price ever plummets below $50, I can get out of it. I'll just simply not exercise the option and I won't buy the stock. But either way, I still have to pay that $500. So that's just a chance that I'm taking. But many times, businesses and individuals will sign these option contracts. Now the next example of a derivative is called hedging. Hedging is actually a fairly common business practice. And the, the, most of the time, the businesses that practice this are businesses that have to buy a commodity of some type. And there's all sorts of different examples of commodities. It could be things like barrels of oil, jet fuel, gold, anything any kind of resource that a company has to regularly buy, and especially if it's a resource that has a fluctuating price. And the reason that we hedge 
is sometimes we're worried about price changes. So the way we will accomplish this is by using forward contracts. And these are a derivative because the value is derived from the value of the commodity. So to see an example, we have a business here that's actually an airline. And they are concerned about the price of jet fuel because as you can imagine, they have to buy tons of fuel. They're concerned that the price of jet fuel is going to increase over the next several months. So what they would like to do is sign a future contract. And this contract is going to require them to buy 100,000 gallons of jet fuel at a price of $3 per gallon. And this has to be purchased in two months. Well, right now, that also happens to be the current market price of jet fuel. You could buy all you want right now at $3 a gallon. So essentially what we're trying to do here is lock in our price. We want to lock this price in at $3, so that way in case the price goes up, we'll be covered. Now the way this works is, as long as the price of that fuel stays at $3 or goes higher, then this will have been a good decision for us because we will lock in that lower price of $3 a gallon. But it's also possible that our prediction could be wrong. Maybe the price of jet fuel is actually going to go down. And if that's the case, this was a bad decision because we're locked in and we have to pay $3 a gallon for that fuel. So the value of this contract is totally derived from the underlying value of the jet fuel itself. So that's why this is a derivative. So how do we account for this? Well, let's say for sake of example, that immediately after this contract was signed, the price of jet fuel went from $3 to 350. Well, that's a difference of 50 cents. And when you consider all the gallons that we're required to pay for, that's gonna be a difference of $50,000. So I will debit futures contract for 50000 to increase the value of the contract and I'll show an unrealized gain of 50000 because if I exercise the contract right now, I would make 50000 Now that happened to be a gain. It's also possible on these types of contracts to lose money. If that's the case, remember losses would always be over there as a debit. So that's a pretty good example of a derivative. And like I said, it's a pretty common thing. It could be for jet fuel, oil, any kind of commodity. A lot of businesses enter into these kinds of contracts and it's designed to hedge against future price increases.